guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have a new set of Battlefield enemies on JP Dokkan. Um, the first week of May during Golden Week is always when um, JP sort of gets its Battlefield reset and has new enemies. Typically, there's a new LR, but there's nothing new in the Battlefield shop. I think my best guess for the reason why is because... Originally, this was obviously going to be a Dragon Ball Super Superhero celebration. Um, and because of the fact that the movie got delayed, you know, maybe they had that LR ready to go and they're just going to wait until the movie celebration and then drop a new Battlefield LR. Maybe with, like, a, a special Dragon Ball Super Superhero Battlefield or something. I don't know. I don't know. But that's my guess, is that the next Battlefield LR might be tied to the movie. Which could be disappointing if we got to wait, you know, eight months to rainbow it because, you know, it's it's... A battlefield where it's slowly like added right um so if you guys remember the last boss um omega shenron and battlefield was very cheap very unfair i i, I would say it, it omega shenron was definitely a good example of sort of like bad difficulty in dokkan because he could catch you and there's nothing you could do about it right like you could load into the fight he locks the character slot one um and then supers them and then you die and you actually have no counterplay because you can't use items you can't do anything like that right um, now Broly, my first time fighting him definitely surprised me right here. I mean, here's one of the best units in the game, Super Saiyan 2 slash 3 Goku. Um, and then let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when Broly tags him with a super attack, right? So here's Broly super and Broly does do an AOE normal as well, right? Broly has both of those in his back pocket. 400k in battlefield is a lot of damage, right like he this broly hits really really hard um harder than omega by far but if you take a look broly's only attacking three times um and then the other thing too broly can not only be attack debuffed but he could be sealed um so like when i was able to beat him it was with this character right here so you know i lost my first run because it was you know i was going in you know a, a blind playthrough of battlefield i didn't know what broly did um, I ran in with the Ginyu Force on the second run, and then Raccoon and Goldo just locked him down. I mean, this is the best banner unit in the game by far. I, I feel like there's just actually no, like, you, I, I don't know what you argue. Because you could say, they're only on one team. It's like, well, uh, they're on Planet Name X Saga. They're on Dragon Ball Seekers. They're on Terrifying Conquerors. They're on Space Shopping Warriors. They're on Special Pose. Literally, all you do is you put them in slot one, you put AGL Ginyu in slot two. It's not really one team. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, you just do that. You, you have this unit slot one, AGL Ginyu slot two. That works on all these teams, right? Except for joint forces. So you know you want to keep that in mind. Um, now this character, right, with their guard, the greatly lowering attack right there, um, and then of course they also where is it? They seal the attacked enemy super attack. So they have a guaranteed seal, and they lower enemies attack by what thirty percent for three turns? Yeah. So, they were able to lock Broly down, and I was like, oh, okay, 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 okay. They're, despite the fact that Broly hits so hard, it's, like, basically unfair, there is a lot of characters that you can utilize to take Broly down. I, I think Omega is harder than Broly is, um, because you could not counterplay around him, right? With Omega, you literally just had to bring the best, strongest units in the game and pray. That was about it. That's all you could do. Um, whereas with Broly, you could use actual strategy. So I do think Broly is a better fight for Battlefield where players can't bring items, right? So what I did is I pulled up a number of characters. Um, Broly is int this time. So, you know, you're going to want to be aiming more towards physical characters. I might do one of these uh, when Battlefield resets every month. Just to sort of show, you know, a lot of the characters you could use. Um, I mean, remember, you could bring... Some of these characters who are, you know, are, are physical type, 100%, 120%. You can bring extreme physical units, super physical units. Um, we do have a lot um, available to us. Now, I pull up this guy. This guy is very weak at this point, obviously, right? This is the Sa a Saiyan Day unit from five years ago. But he does seal. So, it's like he can help you out, right? Let's say, you know, turn one happens... Um, you're able, there's no attacks in the first slot. You can get this Bardock in slot one, seal Broly, boom. And it's like, this is a very free-to-play friendly option, considering 
his release date is saying day of 2017, right? So it's like the seal, the seal. There's two things you're looking for with characters. You either want to seal him or attack debuff him. Both work really, really well. Um, here, of course, is the Majin Buu Saga Tien, um, who greatly lowers attack. Again, this is massive. This is this will really cut the damage down. Because remember, it's not just Broly's super attack that will dissect you, but he also has his AoE normal attack, right? Which which we see in this clip, right? After Broly bashes us with the super attack right there, then he goes into his AoE normal. So if you're greatly lowering his attack, this would allow some of your sort of like subpar characters um, to potentially be able to tank the this AoE normal a bit. And Tien greatly lowers attack, and he has a high chance... Uh, well, the stunning doesn't work, but he's got the greatly lowering attack. So that could definitely be helpful. And again, you know, this guy is closing in on two years old, right? Like, Tien is going to be able to debuff, so that's going to be good. Um, Goasu and Zamasu, another banner unit from years ago. They seal, and they have a high chance to dodge, right? And they auto super attack, too, against extreme class enemies. So this character could be very good, right? <clears throat> you get the seal on Broly. The AoE normal comes at them, and then they dodge with the high chance to dodge. So that could be very helpful. Goatsu and Zamasu. See, like this... Uh, where's Frieza? I, I pulled up Frieza. Yeah, I want to talk about him real fast. Um, Frieza's another great option. This is a Dokkan Fest who is... I, I think this guy is still very good. Now, he has been power creeped in terms of raw stats, right? Attack stats, defensive stats are power creeped compared to newer units. But this guy is still quite good. Why is that? Well, it's because he seals. It's because he dodges. It's because he attacked the bus for two turns. He has a transformation you could activate turn one. He has damage reduction in gold. He can stun in gold as well. See, these are the types of characters, this guy, where they'll age gracefully. There's going to be a lot of uses for him, right? How good can he still be in Super Battle Road? Now, here we have this very difficult Broly boss, right? The rewards for Battlefield are good, right? Like, you definitely want to make sure you get him beaten. Um, and you could use this Frieza, utilize this Frieza right here, um, who could seal him, he could attack, debuff him, you could have damage reduction if your health is super low, right? You have a number of options with this Frieza that can be very, very good. Apparently the page crashed. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's fine, man. Um, but this Frieza can be very useful. Again, power crept because of just raw stats, but he's still good because he has a lot of tech in him, right? When, when I'm evaluating some units recently, I've been pointing that out, like, you know, the LR, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, like, they're okay-ish in, like, some of their, like, raw stats, I guess. But that's a unit that's quickly going to get power crept and they're going to be gone forever, right? Whereas, like, a unit like this Frieza or Tech Ultimate Gohan with his guard plus greatly stacking defense, these are characters that are going to age well and be useful, you know, moving forward. So keep that in mind. Um, LR Master Roshi, again, another GOAT. Um, he just is doing so much. You've got your seal right here in your back pocket. Um, that will be very, very good to get that seal off. He can also dodge. He could support. Potentially, you could revive as well. Right? You know, if you go into the rotation um, under 50% HP, um, you you know, two Turtle School Cat, this is not hard. Right? You'll be able to easily get that. So, I do think that LR Master Roshi um, could definitely be a very good option in here. Um, really incredible free-to-play unit. Uh, they really, I, I hope the 8th anniversary more so does something like this guy, who, just incredible with the stun, the seal, the dodge, the revive, the support. This is, this is a clinic in how to design a great free-to-play unit right here. Um, so hopefully they, they, you know, do that again, because this is, a, this is why I pull up characters like this guy, because it's like, everyone's got this guy. Right? And if you don't have him, there's no reason not to have him. He's very easy to grind up. Very easy to easy it. Right? So it's like everyone has this guy that can really help you beat this Broly. Um, that's why, again, I think this Broly is like... Uh, this Broly is an example of like good difficulty, I would say. Because there's many options around it that you can utilize. Right? Um, LR Bardock might be one of the better units for Broly overall. Because Bardock's going to do so much damage. Um, and he seals. If for some reason you can't easy a him, remember he still seals on 18 key anyway. But obviously after easy a, he's just so much more powerful. And he's got the seal. So LR Bardock would be another really good option for this. Um, of course, Broly is... Guess what he is? He's a pure Saiyan. So that means you have God Goku. Um, where are they? Yep, right here. And then right here. These three... Anytime there's a pure Saiyan boss, you bring these three, and they're incapable of taking damage. 
Um, you know, so you can have Khalifa's TUR and her SSR, right? You bring one of them, you got God Goku, and you're good to go. Like, it's, it's you put these in front of Broly's super attack. Again, he's only attacking three times here. So it's like your chances of putting one of these characters in front of his super attack are pretty high. God Goku, as if he's not good enough just with not taking damage, he's also a rainbow orb changer, and he's ceiling. God Goku is just so crazy. Like, I, I feel like there's a legitimate argument to saying he's the best easy ATUR. I feel like you could say that, and it's not, like, an insane thing to say, right? Because you all of the most difficult content, God Goku, right there, linking up good with the best units in the game. Creating rainbow orbs for the best units in the game, right? Like, this guy is insane, this god Goku. And he's going to dominate this Broly. Broly can't damage him, even without a leader skill. Broly cannot damage him, and he's sealing Broly. Like, it's crazy. Um, and then you guys know what the two Khalifas do. Um, they have a 100% chance to dodge pure Saiyan enemies. So Broly cannot touch either Khalifa. Um, so it's like, that's why, you know, you bring TUR Khalifa in, you die. Then you bring SSR Khalifa in on your next run, right? So, you know, Broly being a pure Saiyan means the Khalifas are, you know, completely viable. Um, Demon Goddess Patine is another option, a free-to-play option, very recent. Um, right here, attacked enemies, attack minus 20% for two turns, and she seals. The seal is only for that turn. Remember that whenever it's a passive seal, like, um, like just, you know, again, in their passive right there, this is only for one turn. But the attack debuff is still for two turns, and this is a character that players can, I mean... It's very easy to have her, right? Like, she's just a free-to-play unit. You take two seconds to grind her up, right? Um, we also have Visco Tanks right here. Um, you know, at this point, power crept for sure, because he's an easy from closing in on three years ago. Um, but, you know, this boy with his seal um, can certainly be uh, fairly helpful. Um, you know, you get that seal off, and Broly can't do the 400k damage super attack. Um, LR Great Sandman 1 and 2, another great option. Uh, I know this is an easy A character that most people did not do because they didn't want to do the whole hero and villain extermination events, but they still seal even on their 12 key super attack. So you don't need to easy A them um, in order for them to be able to uh, take down um, this Broly, right, with the seal. And then remember, they're also supporting as well. Um, you know, so th th this unit can help out a lot. Um, great same I went into. Um, and then the last unit I pulled up. Now, this character might actually just be, like, the Broly killer um, launch because she greatly lowers attack, right? But, I mean, what does she have? She has two additionals, which have a high chance of being a super attack. So, your chances um, of, like, launch triple supering and triple greatly lowering his attack are high. If, for whatever reason, you have her next to another Peppy Gal category ally, she's going to seal Broly for that turn as well. If she triple or quadruple supers, Broly's not going to be able to hurt you at all. Like, it's like, I feel like nearly any character is going to be tanking Broly if launched triple uh, or quadruple supers. So, there we go. Um, again, I, I think uh, Battlefield's difficulty this time, I, I personally don't think it's an issue. Um, I feel like it's fine. All of these bosses, the final, like, uh, like Area 3, like the third level, all hit ridic. Even my units, right? I, you know, I had the LR gods rainbowed guarding, and they took, like, 200k damage from, I think it was Gohan or Bojack or something. I was like, what the hell is this, dude? But, like, you could seal them all. Like, the, the whole purpose of this is they want you to be sealing um, a lot of these bosses in here. Which, you know, I, I guess it's incentive to maybe have had a lot of these, like, older units, like, ready to go. Right? You know, maybe, I don't know, who knows. But um, let me know what you guys think of Broly and these other bosses. Again, I think this is an example of good difficulty where you have so many options, like counterplays that you can utilize against Broly. And not like, uh, you know, like, oh, if you've got AGL Cell, you're good, right? Who just is a Doka Fest new unit. It's like, no, you got Gotenks who came out six years ago. Bardock who came out, you know, five years ago. Like, you could utilize these characters to help you beat Broly. So that's, that's again, good. I, I think an example of good difficulty, so... Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll catch you guys next time.